Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Leonardo da Vinci. He made his first appearance in Mystery Tales, issue number 41, that was released in February of 1956. His complete name is Leonardo de Sir Piero da Vinci, which literally translates to mean Leonardo from Vinci, or what we modern Americans would call the city of Florence. He also briefly in the future carried the Zodiac alias of Ares. While standing six feet one inch tall and weighing 178 pounds, also having blue eyes and long blonde hair. Now, Da Vinci had no known superhuman abilities, but he was classified as an extreme genius level intellect, being considered one of the smartest individuals to ever live. Not only was he an expert tactician and mechanical engineer, he's also known for being one of the best ever painters, sculptors, architects, scientists, botanists, musician, mathematician, authors, biologists, astronomers, cartographers, and obviously inventors in history. Oh, and I can't forget to mention that he was also a time traveling superhero. Yes, you heard me right. There's more than meets the eye with this 14th century Renaissance genius. Da Vinci would use his brilliance to keep the world safe, becoming a member of the Brotherhood of the Shield, which was basically an ancient version of what Shield is today, particularly being a secret organization whose priority is to keep all life on Earth safe. This group has included many other geniuses of history, such as Imhotep, Zhang Hing, Sir Isaac Newton, and Galileo. And this was the first band of heroes to ever defeat Galactus and the Brood, as well as turn back the powerful Celestials. Now, always seeking knowledge and learning, Da Vinci would take it upon himself to study the Phoenix Force after a messenger from Kun Lun reached out to him. He would help the Iron Fist of this time to earn her title, giving her the support and direction she needed to take on Shao Lao, the Undying, while simultaneously using his telescope to keep a close eye on the coming Phoenix. Around this time, he would also observe a dark spot growing on the sun, which would prompt the genius to build a suit capable of flight into space, actually using it to go take a closer look at this mysterious phenomena. Subsequent to this, Da Vinci would master time travel, albeit he likely had some help from Michelangelo. Nevertheless, he would then create a very complex robotic decoy of himself, which I would consider to be the first LMD, or life model decoy leaving this amazing Renaissance period AI behind to live out his normal life so that he himself could move around throughout history. Although he could move throughout time, Da Vinci would seem to have a deep interest in the 1960s, which put him among some of Marvel's most well-known heroes of the period. With Nick Fury and Dum Dum Duggan being among the names that were called to be a part of the Great Will of Zodiac, which was the secret organization that Da Vinci formed during that time, while then using the alias Ares. And although this group would end up splintered, forming the many different secret organizations of the Marvel Universe, such as S.H.I.E.L.D., Leviathan, the Zodiac Cartel, and even Hydra, Da Vinci would once again start moving throughout time and gathering up groups of geniuses to begin the formation of the next team that will replace the heroic S.H.I.E.L.D. Now, for his abilities and his influence on the Marvel Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Leonardo da Vinci a rating of 6, which is an expert rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.